back with another video and from the title of the video you already you all can already tell that I'm back with yet some more scoops from Enel Couture. You guys, I can't seem to keep myself away from that site. I just, ah, it's just such a good deal. So I'm back with two more scoops. Um, and I think this time he did the scoops a little bit differently because the package isn't as big as the previous scoops. I think he had mentioned that he was going to be doing the scoops individually now instead of in one big box. So I have two scoops here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they are looking like. This is the package, just how this particular set of scoops came. So as you all can see, um the package is a little bit longer and there's two individual squares in here so let's go ahead and pop these open and see what we got Ooh, i can already smell monomer in here so i definitely got some monomer yeah these boxes are a lot smaller you guys holy moly <laughs> but that's all right as long as they pack some good stuff in here i ain't, uh, i'll be happy you know so let's see let's see what we got so this is now how the scoops come packaged okay so as y'all can see I got two scoops here so these are the two scoops this is from the most I guess the most recent uh, set of scoops um, so yeah this is what they come packaged now so I guess this is one scoop this is one scoop so I think he did this because people were complaining about them not getting a full individual scoop etc so I'm gonna go ahead and separate these boxes and get them open and we're gonna see what came in each individual scoop okay and actually before I do that let me go ahead and show you guys the difference so all right so this is now what one scoop looks like um i never got a chance to get the one individual scoop back when he was doing like the really huge scoop so i won't be able to do the comparison video like i was wanting to because if he's now doing all the scoops like this individually then that means all of my scoops are going to come in this small box so i won't be able to do a real comparison with the one scoop versus two and three and all that stuff but let me show you guys what two scoops came how the box came with two scoops previously so again this here is the two boxes for this current scoop this here is what the box looked like for my previous two scoops right so it's a lot bigger for sure um it's a lot bigger for sure so like it fills up the whole screen here uh top to bottom and then the width wise so it's it's definitely a little bit different maybe he's running low on supplies but let's hop into the things i got okay so again this here is the first scoop that i got let's see what's in here Let's see you guys Ooh, I see my gel polishes I'm already pretty happy with what I see so far okay I'm gonna go ahead and push everything over to the side and we'll get into what's included in these scoops yeah, it doesn't look like much much but let's take let's take a look we'll, we'll take a gander actually matter of fact let me just unbox it like this since I can actually fit everything in the screen now okay <laughs> so this is the first thing that I got. Um, looks like this is, it says Dreamcatcher. Okay, cool. So this is like a matte glitter and it has all different uh, shapes and sizes. So some of them are chunky, some of them are really fine. Some of them are kind of like medium size. So that's pretty cool to have like some matte white chunky glitters. I actually don't have, I don't own anything like this in my nail collection. Um, next here we got some um, nail art charms, rhinestones. So these are pretty cool. Let's see what these look like, y'all. Oh, that's cute. Oh, these are nice. Be able to put some nice bling on the nails. That's super cute. I love that. Okay. Oh, okay. Then we got some nail charms. Next, we got some acrylics. Awesome sauce. So I do have one of his acrylics. It's um, it's the Eternal Beige. So it looks like this is a blue acrylic, pure blue. Let's take a look, see here. Okay. Oh, this one to be messy. Can I already tell? Ooh. So this is what pure blue looks like. That's really pretty though. It's a nice royal blue color. Okay. Okay, let's see. Did we get another one? Okay, so now we have electric blue, which just looks like it's a little bit lighter than the royal blue. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. So this is like a, a little bit of a lighter blue, but then it has like some fine shimmers in it. So that's pretty cool. So I got two blue acrylics. Okay. And again, this is kind of what they look like side by side. 
I got some more of the Lux brush wipes, which is really cool. So I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and use these for um, acrylic. Um, so this is this is what I'll be using to wipe my brush off when I do acrylic nails. But yeah, these are some really nice, uh, nice soft um, wipes for your brush, and it comes in a 50 pack. Um, looks like, yeah, this is what I smell. This is, I'm pretty sure this is monomer because I could smell it through the box, y'all. Let's see. Okay, yep, I got a thing of monomer here. It says pink magic monomer. I have no idea what the difference is between the pink magic monomer and then the other monomer that I got, but it's a four ounce bottle. This bottle definitely seems like it's a lot fuller than the other one. Um, so yeah, I'll be excited to try this out with those acrylics. Cause I, last time when I swatched his acrylics, I used Young Nails monomer. So I'll, I'll be interested to see how his acrylics perform with his monomer. So we got this. I'm happy to see some more gel polishes, yay! And I'm happy that they're not duplicates either. So I previously got these, uh, the same kind of line of gel polishes from him and they are not the colors that I already have. So that's exciting. So the first color we have here is 098, okay. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, really pretty pink glitter. Oh, that's so cute and fun and festive. I like that. Super cute, okay. So I got this, and this one here is a 15 ml bottle. Okay, so we got that. Next color we got here is 100, okay. Looks like it's gonna be a deep red. Ooh, this is a really pretty deep vampy red. I really do like the consistency of his polishes too. That is really, really pretty, okay. So we got that. Next we got, oh yay! I got happy gel, you guys. <laughs> That's exciting. I actually have been wanting to try some of his happy gel. Um, and so I think this is what you use. Is this what you use to apply? the uh the full cover tips i can't i don't know if that's what you use to apply them or not but i'm quite happy that i have these half this because i actually don't have any happy gel from him so or is this or or is this happy gel or is this acrylic i don't know i'll, I'll have to go take it say acro gel i'll have to go take a look either way it's crystal clear and i plan on using them to apply my one two three go tips and um, this looks like a, a recent item too because the looks like manufacture date on here is August uh, 2023. So that's cool to see him including um, some manufactured items that were a little bit more recent. So happy to have this for sure. Um, next we have here, okay, I got a file, okay. And then we have the infamous full cover tips, okay, y'all. Now, I'm not going to lie. I am obsessed <laughs> with these tips, y'all. Um, I have been wearing them nonstop since I got my first scoop. And um, I absolutely love them. I'm actually wearing them right now. Um, this is, I believe, the... Uh, uh, What's the name of this one? This one here is the Sugar Glitter Pink, and I absolutely love them. They were originally extra, extra long coffin, but I just clipped them down to a short square. I do have a full tutorial of how I got this look coming soon, but I used his pink bubble gum gel underneath it and got this really cute look. So y'all, tons of ways to use these um, full cover tips. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna be showing you all all different type of ways to apply them. Um, so right now I'm testing it out with his bubble gum gel, but I also wanna show you guys how to apply it with acrylic and poly gel and uh, rubber base coat and builder gel, etc. I press base. Okay, go ahead. With uh, rubber base gel, with uh, builder gel, etc. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. I have a full playlist about how to apply press on nails. So I'm excited to be trying these out because they are some really good nail tips. Anywho, this one here is a 24 karat almond. Um, and that's what these look like. Now, I do have a dedicated video that shows all the different sizes, shapes, lengths, um, and colors for the one, two, three, go um, nails that are included in all of that were included in these mystery boxes. But this one here is a 24 karat almond. I got here honey beach, honey, honey peach coffin, which I'm actually excited to have these. Um, I didn't get a lot of honey peach nails, so I'm happy to have these. I got here. Princess Pink Almond, which is a really, really beautiful light pink. And then I got, what's this? Extra, extra long pipe nails. And is that all of them? Okay, so it only included four bags of nail tips. Wow. Okay, so in my previous two scoops, I think I got a total of like 
12 bags and then 14 bags and like the two scoops so they definitely looks like they're running low on their supply but it's good that means they're getting getting through their inventory and again you guys if these nails are too long for you to use you can always clip them down like i said these were extra extra long coffin and i clipped them down to a short square so i've just been clipping all the nails down to a short square because it's the length that i've been needing to wear lately so yeah i got three packs of the one two three go nails absolutely love these tips and then I got these foils here. Looks like some geometric type uh, lines and shapes in white and black. We got here some galaxy foils. I think I have these already in my collection, but these are really nice. And then I also have here some newspaper pop art foils. So I will say, oh wait, we got some more here. Okay, I'm gonna say it, it's already done. Here we got some really cool floral designs, got some fall flowers, um, etc. So I love foils that have the transparent background, so these are nice. And then we also got a couple of stickers and a cuticle stick. So box was pretty, pretty quick and to the point there. Uh, but yeah, we got the cuticle stick, which I do love his cuticle stick. So I'm gonna put that right over here. And then I got here um, some different designs. So I got this thing of stickers and I got this thing of stickers, which has some profanity on it. So <laughs> y'all can say it if y'all want. So that's the first box that we got here, okay? So that's the first box that we have here. And so um, a quick tip for those, if you all are wanting to know how to store your foils, I wanna show you guys how I store mine. So, so this here is how I currently store my foils, you guys. And um, it's just like baseball card holders inside of a three ring binder. And I just wrap them around like a white card. And so I have all of my foils out on display um, and I can be able to flip through them pretty quickly. So I think these are the ones that I just showed you guys. This was another one I saw that he included in a lot of the boxes. So I have a, a lot of the foils. I have a lot of foils already. Here are the Galaxy ones here I think that I just had. Here are the newspaper ones I think that's in there. So yeah, I have a lot of foils already, you guys, but I do really enjoy working with foils. But just wanted to show you all this organization hack. And then at the very end, I still have tons and tons of pages to be able to fill up my book with more foils. So in case you guys are wondering what's a good way to store all these foils that we've been getting in these mystery boxes, this here is just a quick little hack for you, okay? This was everything that was included in the first scoop. Let's move on to the second scoop. Alrighty, so this here is the second scoop. So let's see what goodies are included in this one. Alrighty, okay. Ooh, I think I got some inks, oh my gosh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look-see here. So we got a foil. I mean, not a foil. So we do got another nail file here. This is the 100-100 grid. We got uh, two new stickers. So this one I got in that previous scoop just now, but this one I haven't seen before. So we got these, which are really nice. Uh, we got another cuticle stick, which you can never have too many of. We got some more nail tips, okay? So this one came with, looks like a total of four nail tips as well. Um, and again, we got Princess Pink Almond. We got Frozen Almond. We got Eternal Beige Almond. I love Eternal Beige. These are really nice as well. And then we got 24 Karat Almond. So you get four bags of tips. So I think now if you order scoops, you'll get four bags of nail tips. So we got four of these. Um, we did get some more foils. So this here is that newspaper foil, similar to the one that was in the previous scoop. Got the Galaxy one, so that's a duplicate from the previous scoop. And we have these, which I don't know if I have these or not. These are like the matte full colored ones. I don't think I have these just yet. So got this one, and then here is another one, and these are the floral ones. So most of the so most of the foils are the exact same except for this one right here in both of the scoops. Did get some more gels, which is awesome sauce. Um, I love the fact that so far I haven't gotten any duplicate gels in this particular um, bottle, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look-see here. Um, so the first color here is 0092. And this looks like it's gonna be a really pretty, ooh, look at this, y'all. This is a really, really pretty gold glitter, wow. That's nice. Okay, so we got that. And then I don't see a label on here, but it looks like it's a pretty pastel purple. Let's take a look-see. Ooh. 
Oh, this is nice. This is a really nice soft um, pastel purple. Leans a little bit mauve -y. Very pretty. Okay, I like those colors. Okay. Got that. What else we got here? Okay, got some more of those matte shimmer glitters. Got some more of those matte white glitters. So that's the same thing I got in the other one. We got, okay, cool. We got some caviar beads and this is in um, gun metal. I definitely don't have anything like this. So that's cool to have. Nice. Um, got some more Lux wipes, of course. So happy to have some more of these. Got another apron. I did get an apron in my last couple of scoops. Um, so yeah, happy to have another one of these. They're definitely gonna be useful here in the nail room. And then, okay, cool. And last but not least, I got another Happy Gel, which is awesome. I definitely wanted to try some of his Happy Gels. Y'all let me know down in the comments, is this poly gel or is this like the uh, gel that's supposed to be used to apply the one, two, three, go tips? Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. I was really hoping to get some press it gel though. Sad face. But I still like everything that I got so far. And then I am really excited that I got one of these marble inks because I actually was wanting some of his marble inks. So let's take a look see here. But that's everything here in the box. So let's take a look see here at this marble ink, okay? Uh, I don't even, oh, I think this is a purple. How do I tell what color it is? Let's see. I'm gonna take the bottom of this random box here and see what, what color this is. Oh, is it black? I think it might be black, y'all. Awesome sauce. So this here is a marble ink. That is so cool. I may have to try to do some marble nails with these. Like, I've not actually played around with marble inks much. But yeah, very, very nice. Bottle's very interesting. <laughs> it's a very long handle here. But yeah, pretty cool. These It's called Maxi Ink Set. So that is awesome. So yeah, y'all, this is everything from the second little scoop here, okay? The scoops are definitely getting smaller, and I'm gonna tell you that, okay? My last two scoops, they were definitely a lot bigger, but um, still a good value for the price. I mean, think about it, you guys. It's 20 bucks for all of this stuff. You get an apron, nail tips, Lux wipes, you know, some nail art. So it's not a bad price. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple swatches and then we'll get into my final thoughts on this round of scoops, okay? All right, y'all, so we gotta do a brief intermission. My little one, she saw me in the nail room, wants me to paint her nails. Hi. <laughs> she says, hello. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> say hi, happy family. Hi, family. Okay, so what did you say you wanted? Um, this. What's this? Um, nails. You wanna do your nails? Yes. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do her nails. We're gonna do this hand right here, y'all. And she got two colors here. Let's see. She got two brand new polishes, y'all. Okay. How she... about this? Oh, you want that one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, she already didn't pick. Okay. This is her old polish, y'all. And she didn't ran out of it. We didn't use it all the way up. So now she's ready for some new ones. Hold on, baby. Yeah. She just moved so fast. Okay. All right, y'all. So now Don't we're going to do it. Okay. Go ahead and open it. No, but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna paint I your nails. It. No, no, it's it. it's okay. I got it. Yarrow. Now I got it. <laughs> yeah. Now my shot. All right, y'all. So we had to do a quick little intermission there. She got a little too excited. See, we didn't got the polish all over the place, but that's okay. We gonna we gonna get her together. We gonna hook her up, okay? So yeah. she wanted to go in with this color from Not Polish. It's called um, Kitty Karma, and I'm just gonna do a quick set on her real quick, y'all. She. Oh. She likes to get her nails did, so we're gonna do a quick set, okay? My hair. I got you. I want to cut it. Ooh, this is pretty on you, baby. My hair, I got it. I'm gonna let you do the other hand, okay? I do. My hair, my hair, my hair, my Can I let you do the other hand? No. You wanna do this hand too? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Mommy, Don't touch. I wanna do it. Okay, go ahead. Uh. Good job. Okay, now let me let you finish. Let me let me finish doing this one, okay? Let me finish and then you can do the rest, okay? Good job, sweetie. You did it. Okay, hold on. And then yeah, y'all. She all done. Come on, y'all. Say it with me. Say, ain't she cute though? Say it, y'all. Say, ain't she cute though? You don't want to say it? No. It's okay. 
Y'all see her little nanny? Super duper cute. All right, say bye. Bye. All right, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Now let's get into swatching these polishes, okay? 098, ooh, this is a really pretty glitter, glitter polish. Super cute. Very nice. Yeah, that's nice, we wouldn't care. 100, oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is a really nice deep vampy, vampy red. Well, it's really deep burgundy purpley color. I don't know, it's like a mixture between purple and deep red. You all let me know, what color is this to you? I think it's more so burgundy. It's like a like a deep jelly burgundy. That's what this is. It's a deep burgundy jelly color. It's really nice, self levels beautifully. 092, okay. It's a nice true gold color. Very pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. And this one didn't have a name to it, so this is the purple color. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. I like this one. This might be my favorite one. That's super cute. Look at that, you guys. How gorgeous is this purple? Love it. I do also want to try out this marble ink here. Um, I'm not too familiar with how to use marble inks, but we're going to go ahead and give it a go. Um, I have here um, like a cream colored nail that I kind of swatched out, whitish slash cream color. I'm just going to take that marble ink and put it all over the nail and see how it goes. Is this how we marble? I don't know how to marble, you guys. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I did that right. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess this is kind of how you're supposed to use it. Um, so yeah, it looks, uh, I don't know what this looks like, <laughs> but I'm a top coated. Yeah, I don't think I did that right, you guys, but that's how the marble ink works for sure. All right, well, let's get to swatching those acrylics. This is the monomer that actually came in my package. And this one here is the one that came in my previous scoops. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, open up the, the one that came in my previous scoop just cause I have of them I think I got like two of them in my last scoop so I'm gonna go ahead and just open this one up here oh and look I was just like I was saying I don't know if you all could tell from the side here but um, this one is filled up to about here and this one is filled up to about here so this one's filled up to here this was filled up to my index finger on both of them so you see how this one was a little bit fuller but um let's go ahead and open this up and see how much we got and see how these these acrylics perform Yeah, definitely smells like monomer. <laughs> so that's the first one. I like that it's a squirt bottle though, so that's nice. I want to see what this one smells like. I want to kind of compare the two. Oh, nice. This one has a snap lid to it. That's different. I like that. It'll definitely prevent any leakage during shipping. I've never seen a monomer bottle have that on it. That is pretty cool. I like that. Okay, let's see what this smells like. Okay, it smells just like the other one. Um, so maybe this is the same thing, but just different packaging. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I really, really like this stopper here. That's awesome. But I'll be using this one next time around. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out my acrylics with this. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the acrylic here into this dappin dish. I'll just go ahead and squirt it in here. Like so, you don't need a lot, just a little. I'll close this back up. And this is a perfect opportunity to use these Lux wipes because this is how I plan on using it moving forward. I'm gonna use them to just clean off my acrylic brushes. So I'm gonna take one of these out. That's what I'll be cleaning my brush on. Okay, so we'll be, we can see what that's like on the side here. <laughs> and then I am gonna be going in with my Young Nails Artistic Sculptor Brush to swatch it out. So I'm gonna first go in with Electric Blue. Okay. Looks like a really pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a bead here. I did swatch his video. I mean, I did swatch some of his acrylics previously and they worked well. Yeah, this one sets up real nice. Once it's smooth, that's when you know it's time to set it down. Nice. Oh, it seems like it sets pretty fast, huh? 
Okay, maybe I need to work a little bit quicker. Okay, I'll work a little bit quicker with that one. So, pick up another bead here. That's how it sets up. Huh. It dries really fast. I wasn't expecting that. I feel like the last one didn't dry this fast. Oh, it all has to do with the monomer. Okay, so last time I used Young Nails monomer and it definitely did not dry this fast. So, I think you just, okay, so I think I gotta work with it a little bit quicker because it's drying really fast, y'all. Okay, let's try again. And pick up a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Yeah, I don't know y'all. I gotta learn how to work with this one. It dries so fast. I'm used to using Young Nails Monomer and it has like a good setting time to it. This one's setting like as soon as you put the bead down. But we gonna make this swatch do what it do, okay? We gonna keep on trying. Yeah, it sets really fast. I wonder is this like a fast drying monomer or something? Is that quick dry? Try not to have it be so lumpy bumpy. We're gonna get it smooth though, don't worry. I do like these brush wipes definitely for the um, wiping off my acrylic, so that is nice. That's how it sets up again here. I'm gonna try to smooth out this bead, make it look somewhat decent, because right now this mug look lumpy bumpy. And yeah, this acrylic sets really fast, holy moly. That's interesting to work with. I feel like I'll have to try this again using my Young Nails monomer and see how I like it because right now it sets a little too fast for me to work with. This mug thick. <laughs> oh, MG. Okay, let me see if I can do one more bead and just kind of make it all look smooth. I think that's the best I could get y'all. This mug thick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come in and swatch this again another time, but this is what the color is looking like. It is very pretty. Nice blue. Mommy. Yes, you are. I need to go to sleep. You wanna go to sleep? No. What are you talking about then? I'm going to sleep because it's just, It like dries instantly though. That's crazy. It's really hard to work with, I tell you that. I wonder is this a fast dry a fast dry monomer or something? Oh wow. That is so fast. That I like it. Alright, y'all. This is the smoothest I can get it. <laughs> y'all witnessing my learning curve here. I've never worked with uh his monomer or acrylic. Wow. So yeah, but it's a pretty blue, so I'll let that set. So I actually, because of how that one performed, now I am curious to see how this other monomer works. So because of how fast that set, I am curious to see how this monomer works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put <laughs> this monomer in there and see if there's a difference in the setting times. Okay, let's give this one a go. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch that same color here to see how it performs with this other monomer, okay? Yep, it performs the same, huh? Okay. Well, to me, it's a little hard to work with his um his system then, cause it dries too fast for me, you guys. It dries way too fast. That means you gotta work real quick. <laughs> now I'm curious to see how this will perform with Young Nails monitor. Okay, we're just gonna make this a test video, cause I got to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I mean, it sets so quick though. Wow. Like, literally, as soon as you set it down, that means you gotta work with like really, really wet beads and then work really fast. Okay, I definitely think this swatch is better. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. I'll be right back. Hey you guys, I'm really curious about this monomer. So I just put in my Young Nails monomer into my Dappen dish and I wanna see how this powder sets with Young Nails monomer. Okay, 
Yeah, I think it's the monomer, you guys. Yeah, you see how it performs a lot differently now? Now I can work with this. Yeah, so his monomer dries a lot quicker than what I'm used to. That's pretty impressive. You see how it sets up just a little bit slower? And now it's kind of moving down. So this gives me time to work with the product as opposed to the uh, Enel Couture one where it just, I mean, it just pretty much, it hardened up as soon as, you know, as soon as it touched the brush. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about that monomer. I think there's a time and a place for it. Um, I do a lot of uh, applying my press-on nails with acrylic. And I feel like that might be a good place for that um, Enel Couture monomer because it dries really, really fast. And a lot of times I do want that uh, acrylic to apply to dry really fast when I'm applying my nails, when I'm applying my press-on nails with acrylic. So I might just be using it for that next time. So yeah, yeah, I might have found a, a different use. I don't think it's going to work for me with acrylics, but I think that it's going to work for me with... Um, with acrylic application, but when I'm applying my press-ons with acrylic, I think that would be a perfect use for it. You see how much better it swatched out? Yeah, I'm, and I'm actually really used to working with the Young Nails monomer too, so it just, I don't know, it just works better for me overall. So I am gonna go ahead and swatch out this other color with my Young Nails monomer as well, but um, yeah, y'all, that's how it looks. That's a really pretty color. Okay, so next I'm gonna be swatching out Pure Blue, which is this really gorgeous royal blue color. Look at that, that's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this out with the Young Nails Monomer because, yeah, the Enel Couture one dries just a bit too fast for my liking. But this is how it sets up. Once the surface of the bead is smooth, that's when you know it's time to set it down, like so. That's a pretty blue. This mug is super pigmented too. Wow. Very pigmented. I like it. Very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I just want to apply one more bead here and just blend it all together. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. I do feel like um, these little wipes work out really well for uh, my acrylic swatches. And I think when I do acrylic nails, this is when I'll reach for these Lux wipes. I mentioned in another video, when you put acetone on them, like the color dissipates. So I don't really like using it to rub my nails, but I think it's gonna be, it's gonna come in really great and handy when wiping off my nail brush. So cool beans. This is what everything is looking like swatched out. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close of all the colors. So this here is um, one, this here is 100, and it's a really beautiful, kind of vampy, deep burgundy, jellyish color. Well, no, it got opaque, so like a deep burgundy color. This here is 092, which is a really pretty um, gold glitter that has like some really fine silver glitters in there as well. It's really nice. This here is that purple with no color or name number to it, but it's a really gorgeous light lilac purple that has mauve undertones. 098, which is this really fun festive glitter that has hollow purples, pinks in it. And I honestly think that these two colors pair really, really well together. Like this would be a really cute like summer, spring mani. And these two colors actually pair really good together. I feel like this would be a really good holiday Manny, like around Christmas time, even in the fall. And then for the two acrylics, um, this here is electric blue. And I did find that working with the Young Nails um, monomer just worked out better for me overall when swatching these acrylics. And this is what this would look like with the shiny top coat. 
And then this here is pure blue, which is this really gorgeous um, royal blue, a deep royal blue. And that's what it would look like with the top coat. And I do like that this one has some really nice fine glitters in it. And this here is um, that marble ink. Um, I highly doubt that I did this right, but this gives you guys an idea of how you can use that marble ink. Um, you put it over a matte top coat put the design on there and then seal it in with the top coat so yeah that's what this is looking like okay so these are the items that i got in my most recent you know couture mystery scoops and this was what two scoops look like so my thoughts on these two scoops is it looks like the inventory is down which makes sense because they've been doing the scoops for a little while now i still think that the value uh, for the amount of products that you get is pretty good um in total and this and these two scoops i got eight packs of one two three go tips and eight packs of the foils which is fine with me i got four gel polishes two acrylics two happy gels which is a new product to me i'm excited to have that and to try it out and then the ink um and then some more monomer and another um and some more monomer and another one of their aprons and so and some glitters as well so i think it's still a nice wide variety of items that's included um and for the price it's still well worth it because again a lot of these items on this website if you buy them one-offs i mean you, you're already paying for it with just one or two items so it's still definitely worth it um for those who are getting in on the scoops a little bit later i don't think you're getting as much um at, I don't think you're getting as many items as, as you probably would have gotten in past uh, scoops that he did. But I did see that on his website, he does currently have two new scoops out, you guys. So I kind of want to break down the difference between all the scoops. So there's four different scoops available now. Um, so the original one that was available um, was just the mystery scoop, and that was $20. And this is kind of what I've showed you guys. Two of, so in this video, I've showed you guys what two of those would look like. Um, and then he came out with the one, two, three, go scoops, which is Extent, which is exclusively just these one two three go nails um, and it comes with five packs um, in a scoop for ten dollars and then he recently put out the color scoop which was very very limited I don't even know if it's still available It's for the lunar new year um, this weekend um, and that was thirty five dollars and you get twenty four of a variety of his different gel products that he offers and then the most recent scoop he just came out with is called the super scoop so I'm assuming that's gonna be a really big scoop with a variety of his items I'm assuming like this but better I don't know but um yeah, so those are the scoops that's available on his website. He does have a discount code for 35% off, um, and that's Dragon24. So if you guys are still interested in checking out his products, I will highly recommend going over and checking out the scoops as well as some of the other items on his website because he does have some really nice, high-quality products, if I do say so myself. So yeah, y'all, I think I might have a few more scoops on the way. Just stay tuned to the channel, and you guys will see. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed everything that I got. My favorite items out of this particular scoop is definitely the Happy Gel, and then that, that moxie ink i was really wanting to try some of his inks um so that's really cool and of course these gel polishes very very happy to have um more of them from his collection because he has nice gels i mean they are really nice and then what i have on on my hands right now is the uh sugar pink glitter um uh, one two three go nails um i do plan on doing a full tutorial on how i got this look you guys i've been wearing his nails non-stop since i got my first scoop and i just absolutely love his nail tips and so i applied it with pink bubblegum gel and the sugar tips and that was it put a little top coat on and i was done so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video let me know if you guys were able to get your hands on some of the scoops and if you're taking advantage of that sale this weekend because it's phenomenal i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye